uh, I am thinking of getting married through video call, and I want to know which out of the following is the more appropriate or the correct way according to the Sunnah. Uh, the option one is the guardian of the bride himself makes the ijab through video call to the groom who is on the other side sitting along with the witnesses, and the option two is the guardian appoints and tells someone to become his proxy and do the job. Uh, so that the marriage can take place in one sitting. And who can be a uh, proxy? A unknown Muslim, can he be his proxy? Okay, first of all, the win-win situation is when the witnesses and the groom personally know the guardian. So let's assume we are from the same village, from the same city. And the groom and the, guard, the, the witnesses, they all know the guardian. So there's no ambiguity, no way of impersonating someone else. If this is done through video call and there is mutual trust, so the guardian and the girl trust that the groom would not simply do the nikah and run away not to be found because this is binding. If he runs away, how can they get a separation? How can they prove to the Muslim judge that they got married if they can't get their hands on the witnesses? So it's a dodgy issue. But basically speaking, when all the conditions are fulfilled and there is mutual trust, we know the guy, he's not going to run away, we know his family, then this is okay. If the guardian would want to appoint a proxy or someone to have power of attorney to give his daughter in marriage to this uh, guy, th this is okay. He doesn't have to be a relative. He doesn't have to be a mahram, but he has to be a Muslim. Such a person cannot be a non-Muslim. He must be a Muslim. And the same applies for ensuring that this power of attorney was legit, legal, and not ambiguous or uh, fabricated and Allah Azza wa Jal knows best.